Yeah, 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 I get it. The ECM87 is a great microphone. But how does it compare to the CV12 in recording trumpet? You might ask Lawrence Lopez from Happy KO. Today we're gonna find out. Here's with just the raw ECM versus the raw CV12. So there's no uh, mic clone plug-in on the ECM or anything like that. I'm ready. My chops aren't good. <laughs> Raw CV12. My chops aren't good. Okay, here's what the ECM sounds like with the mic clone turned on, and I'm gonna have the mic clone set, the little uh, scrubber set to norm. Uh, you don't want it set to min or max. Just trust me on this, just set it here on the normal one if you wanna hear kind of the best uh, version of these emulators. So if you're wondering what I'm even talking about with this plugin uh, and the emulator stuff, is basically the the gauge ECM87 microphone can emulate all of these other microphones. It's built, it comes with the package, um, this plugin. Um, and so this $400 microphone can sound like um, a $5,000 microphone. Some of these other microphones cost thousands of dollars. And this basically is able to sound like all those other microphones using this plug-in emulator thing. And from what we've reviewed and what other people's reviews that we've read, this microphone does a really good job sounding like these other microphones. It comes really close apparently that people can't even tell the difference. So uh, let's start with the M49. I don't even know what that microphone is supposed to kind of mimic, but here you go. Here's the M49 sound. Okay, and now the U87. Okay, now the U67. Here's the U47. Here's the 47 FET. Here's the C12. And the 414. And the, lastly, the C800. I think that's a Sony microphone. Okay, now let's run through all of them together real quick so you can compare quickly. Okay, and our favorite is actually this U87 one here. As you can tell, uh, it's really warm sounding, and it does, it's, to me it's just less harsh on, on the ears, on the upper end especially. So we, we go, we're gonna go with the U87 
uh, mic clone emulator on this microphone. In fact, we we ended up using this. I'll tell you this right now. We end ended up using the U87 almost all the time because it just sounds really good. But there you have it. Uh, as you can tell, the ECM sounds good even without the mic clone. Uh, it's a pretty good microphone, but when you have the mic clone on, especially on the U87 in my opinion, um, it sounds exceptional. So we actually ended up using the ECM for this track instead of the CV12, and we were surprised by that. And uh, we'll, go, we'll do more shootouts like this in the future, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those, because I know this is exciting stuff.